This simple text animation was made using expressions created by ChatGPT. To do this, I just asked ChatGPT to write me an After Effects expression that will make a looping 360 clockwise rotation and slightly shrink and expand. And it spit me out this answer on a rotation expression and a scale expression and how to use it. And I can just copy and paste it, hold Option, and just paste it in there. Also, it does help that to know some basics in After Effects, for example, I created the composition and added a text layer, very basic stuff. I had to know how to do that first. I guess you could also ask ChatGPT, how do I do that? But to be fair, this is quite a simple project. So I thought of a more advanced concept on animating and mixing colors of different shapes. This project I, I kind of had to abandon, but I think it still has a very useful tip I can share with you for it. So I asked at the original prompt to create these different shapes, have them mix colors as they cross paths, and it didn't quite get the color mixing part. It, it, I was able to make the shapes, I was able to make them orbit each other, which was actually kind of cool. But the last part I wanted was when the, the shapes interact that they change colors, like different blending modes together. And that part, no matter how much different prompting I tried, I wasn't able to quite get. But the really useful tip I'll give you is in After Effects, if you do have an error message, for example, I can pop up the whole message. I actually took a screenshot of this error message or you type it in to ChatGPT and say, it's giving me this error message and just press OK again. And it'll say, oh, it's giving that error message because you forgot to rename the file or whatever. But I just kept feeding it the error message. It was able to still continually make progress. Probably there's more efficient ways that this expression could have been written. If you're just working in After Effects, you kind of don't know exactly what you're doing, but you just need a helping hand. I think this is better than nothing combined with also Google search, also traditional well-done tutorials by humans, and maybe a little bit of this for training wheels. I wouldn't be surprised if we have some kind of AI search bot right within these programs in the future, like the uh, paperclip guy. But yeah, these are just some experiments on the cutting edge here. My name is Justin Odisho. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments and other stuff we should experiment about. And stay tuned for future videos.